I had a feeling that this day would come. The return of an infamous formation that is probably going to give you nightmares. I'm here to give you the tactics for it. It is really sorted out my game. I'll explain more in a second. But if this helps you guys, let's try and hit 200 likes. Uh, subscribe if you're new. We're uploading every single day. You guys are improving by watching the video. So make sure you subscribe right now. Comment down below any questions and let's get into it. If you need the cheapest FC25 coins to build your super team, then check out MMO EXP by clicking the link down below and use code JAMBU for 5% off. Okay, so this is the team I've been using and I'm on the cusp of the elite division and I sort of fell into a bit of a rut where I was stuck and I couldn't get things to work. So I thought, you know what? You know, when all else fails, why don't we just throw on a 4-3-2-1? And obviously, it's a bit different this year because you've got the cams instead of um, the centre forwards from before where you could set them to, like, get in behind, all that stuff. We're, we're having to do things a little bit differently out here now. Uh, but this is a 4-3-2-1 setup that I wanted to show you guys that I am using at the moment um, at sort of the top end of Division 1, which at this point is essentially the Elite Division anyway. Um, so this is the team I'm using. Still trying to work out these player roles and stuff. Um, I spoke to some of you guys in the comments of the last video about it where I said that uh, these new roles and stuff, a lot of it's flying over my head, genuinely. I don't know where I stand with half of it. I'm trying to do whatever I can to try and turn my setup into what it was like last year and the years before that. So that is what we're trying to do here. This is the team. I'll show you guys um, the code at the end of the video as well. So we'll go to edit tactic. Uh, it's a 4-3-2-1 as you can see. Uh, we have balanced on the build up style. And then I run 70 depth as well. Uh, you can try 71. I'm actually not too sure whether you still get like auto offside traps or whatever. I've got to, you know, sort of uh, experiment a little bit more. But okay, so... Poacher is one of the roles that so far I find that it's almost a must. Uh, they just make so much better runs than anything else. And it's not ideal with Jesus because he doesn't have the plus. He actually has the advanced forward. Uh, but if anyone knows or has any advice, uh, please do put you know in the comments what you're finding the best roles to be. Uh, this is what I've sort of gone with with this 4 3 2 one Two Shadow Strikers. So I'm trying to build my teams as much as possible now around actually fitting in these meta roles, which it's honestly making the whole experience for me a lot worse. Um, you know, at the best of days, it's hard to build your ultimate team, let alone when you're having to pick players based on these roles. It's just really annoying in my opinion. But we have one box to box. Uh, we have a deep line playmaker and a playmaker and in terms of the structure of the midfield this seems to work pretty well in a 4-3-2-1 um, if you had a different box-to-box -box player you could potentially do that uh, but I feel that the deep line playmaker in the middle is something that works really well uh, with, I then have my fullbacks on defend what I'm finding with this game because you would normally have them going forward in a 4-3-2-1 it's just as soon as my fullbacks go forward that is it. Like they're they're countering me, they're getting in behind, and I just can't do it. So fullbacks on defend. If you're some defending genius, you know, you, by all means, you know, you can put your fullbacks to go more forward. But at the minute, I'm just struggling to deal with it. So that is what we're going with. I have Marquinhos, so I have him on ball playing defender. Although I would recommend where possible. Uh, just the normal defender seems to work well. But the issue I'm finding is if you're not playing players in the role that they're a plus on they just play so much worse and it's, it's horrific like i would love for it to be changed we'll see if it happens i don't really know but so that is a 4-3-2-1 guys it plays really well in game uh, you can sort of play the same way as you have been uh you know last year i'm sure all of you use this formation at some point uh this isn't the variation where it's going to defend in a 4-4-2 but it's not needed as much because we've got our fullbacks on defense. So we're sacrificing a bit in the attack for more of a solid defense. But hopefully this helps you out. Any questions, let me know. If you got to this point, make sure you do subscribe. I'm here every day helping you improve at this game. It is frustrating at the minute. It's a learning process, but we will get there. Appreciate you guys. Leave a like if you enjoyed and peace.